Before we make the ears, I just want to go ahead and finish closing the head because I need this brown colored yarn for the ears. So we're not going to close the head completely. We're just going to be making a couple decrease stitches and then finishing off for the head. So the head's going to have a little bit of an opening for the neck. So you're going to just take and go right where you left off on the head and go ahead and move the yarn marker up to where you left off. Then we're going to make only two decrease rounds. So for a decrease round, that means we're going to be decreasing the number of stitches in the round. So for the first decrease round, you're going to make one single crochet into nine stitches. So go ahead, finish making one single crochet in every stitch for nine stitches, and then come back. So now you can see I made one single crochet into nine stitches and now we're going to make the decrease stitch or single crochet two stitches together. So you're going to take your crochet hook and you're going to go into the next stitch over and you're going to bring up a loop. So now you have two loops on the hook. You're going to go into the next stitch over, bring up a loop and now you have three loops on the hook. You're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down and then go, go through all three loops for a decrease stitch or a single crochet two stitches together. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Make one single crochet into nine stitches and then single crochet two stitches together. Repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you should have a total of 60 stitches in the round. And then we're going to make our last decrease round. So you're going to make one single crochet into the next eight stitches. I'm just going to work this with you. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then you're going to single crochet two stitches together. And then you're just going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into eight stitches and then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around. So now you should have finished that round with 54 stitches in the round. Then you're going to go ahead and remove your yarn marker and then you're going to make a slip stitch into the next stitch over. So you're going to take your crochet hook, you're going to go into the next stitch over, you're going to yarn over, and then you're going to turn your hook upside down and then just bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. Then you can go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to help sew the head on the body. So now I'm going to show you how to make the ears. You can set the head aside for now. So for the ears, you're going to need two of the brown color and you're going to need two of the magnolia way or beige color. So I've already made the two brown and one of the beige. I'm going to show you how to make the other beige one on video tutorial. So they're all made the same way and you're going to need two of the brown and then two of the beige. So you're just going to take whatever color that you're working on and right now I'm going to show you with the beige color on video tutorial. You're going to start with the magic circle. So you just drape the yarn across your four fingers, use your thumb to stabilize and then wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers and then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then you're going to take your crochet hook, you're going to go right under those two loops around the middle fingers, go ahead and bring up a loop. Then just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and then go through the loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to go into the magic circle. You're going to bring up a loop, two loops on the hook. Go ahead and yarn over and go through both. Then you're going to chain two. One, two. And this is going to count as your first double crochet into the magic circle. And we need a total of 12 double crochet 
in the magic circle. So we already have one. I'm going to yarn over, go into the magic circle, bring up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Go ahead and yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through two loops. You have two loops remaining on the hook. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the two remaining loops for your second double crochet in the magic circle. And again we need a total of 12. I'm just going to work a couple more with you. You're going to yarn over, go into the magic circle, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through two, two loops remaining, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the two remaining loops to complete your double crochet. So, so far I have three in the magic circle and again you need a total of 12. So there's four, five, six, I'm just going to finish it with you, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then you're going to take your forefinger and thumb and just like we did with the six single crochet, you're going to hold the base of the twelve double crochet with your forefinger and your thumb. Then you're going to take and close it again by just grabbing one. If it doesn't close, you let go and pull on the other one. And don't worry if you don't get it completely closed. You can close it more later. Then take that loose yarn end and pull on that. So now you're just going to go ahead and finish off. So you just yarn over and just pull enough yarn through for burying your loose yarn end. Go ahead and cinch that knot down and then you want to go ahead and pull on that center loose yarn end to completely close the center of the magic circle. And then you have your little ear. So you need one, you need two of the beige and then you need two of the brown and then I'll show you how to crochet them together. So now we're going to crochet the ear together. So you're going to take the curve so that the the curve of the circle is facing to the left and the brown one is on the bottom and then you're going to place the beige one right on top. So the flat end is facing towards the right. Then you're going to take your crochet hook and you're going to go through the stitch on the beige colored ear and then the stitch on the brown colored ear. And then you're going to bring up a loop with your brown colored yarn. Then you can go ahead and chain one and then just take and tie a knot. So just take your loose yarn ends and tie a knot. Make sure you have the right one. I'm probably going to tie a knot with the other one too. Just to make sure I have the right one. Then you're going to take and chain two. One, two. And then that counts as your first half double crochet. Then we're going to make a half double crochet into the next stitch. So you're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, and remember you're going into both stitches, the beige and the brown colored yarn bring up a loop. You have three loops on the hook. Go ahead and yarn over, turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through all three loops on the hook to complete a half double crochet. So now you can see how it kind of curves a little bit in these next two stitches. So in these next two stitches you're going to place two half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. So just yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop and make a half double crochet 
and then you're going to make one more half double crochet into the same stitch and then you're going to make two half double crochet into the next stitch and what that does is it helps to turn the corner of the curve and helps the ear to lay flat when you put two stitches in there. So I'm even going to put another two stitches into the next stitch because it's still kind of curving. So I'm going to place two half double crochet into the next stitch. Then I'm going to make one half double crochet into the next stitch. And then that will bring me to the next curve. So in the next three stitches, I'm going to make two half double crochet into each of those stitches as well. Then that brings me to the last, I'm going to make two more stitches. So I'm going to make one half double crochet in the next two stitches. And then that finishes the ear. Then you can go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and make sure that you bring enough yarn through to sew the brown portion of the ear in place. And then you're going to use, if you have enough of the beige colored yarn, you can use that to sew the beige portion. If not, just get the same colored yarn to sew the beige portion. But I'll show you that when we get to sewing the ear in place. Now as far as the loose yarn ends, I tuck any loose yarn ends into the inside of the ear and whatever doesn't fit you can just trim. So try to tuck as many loose yarn ends as you can. It just helps kind of poof the ear out just a little bit. And then whatever doesn't fit you can put just a little bit of it in and then just trim it. And then you have, I have a long enough one for so helping to sew the beige portion and then I have the brown portion to sew the brown portion. So this is what it looks like on the back and this is what it looks like on the other side. So you can go ahead and finish crocheting the other two pieces together to finish the other ear and then we'll sew them in place on the head. So now I'm going to take and lay my ear on the side of the head and I try to lay line up the ear so that the bottom of the ear is in line with the top of the snout. So you can see the angle. And I put mine right outside where the white triangular portion lies. Then you can take and sew the beige portion of the ear in place. Just go in and out right along the bottom of the beige portion and then sew that in place. Then after it's sewn in place you can lift the ear up to sew the brown portion. So I just sew right along with the beige portion right along the inner portion of the ear. Then, after I finish sewing the inner portion, that's when you can kind of turn the ear and then get the brown portion. And then you just kind of hold the ear and then take and sew the brown portion in place. So this is what my ear looks like after I finished sewing it in place. You can see the brown portion and the beige portion and the positioning of the ear. So depending on the yarn that you used for the white triangle portion, 
will depend on where you place your ears. You can see this one came out a little bit different with the different style of yarn. So you just have to judge where you want your ear, and this is how this ear was placed on this one. So however you place your ears, you have to make sure that you place it the same way for the other ear so that one ear is not crooked compared to the other ear. So now that I've sewn this ear in place, I'm ready to sew the other ear in place the exact same way at the same level as the other ear. And then this is what mine looks like after I finished sewing on the ears. And it looks adorable. Now I'm going to show you how to make the body. So for the body, you're going to start with a magic circle again, just like we did for the head. And you're going to place your slip knot first. And then you're going to place the six single crochet into the magic circle. And then you're going to close it the same way. Then you're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. And again, we did this with the head as well. So two single crochet in every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. So now you should have 12 stitches in the round and you can turn it over and close the magic circle if you need to by pulling on that loose yarn end on the back. Then take your yarn marker and again I'm just using one of my scraps of yarn. Place it right where you left off and we're going to start our increased rounds. So for those that know how, we're going to be increasing to one single crochet into 10 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and show again for those that are still kind of new. You're going to make one single crochet. Let me see if I get my stitch there. One single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. And then you're going to just repeat that pattern all the way around. One single crochet into the first stitch, two single crochet into the second stitch. Repeating that pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker. And remember, you just add six to the previous round to get the stitch count for this round. So remember, our last round had 12 stitches. You add six to that. That means you should have 18 total stitches after finishing this round. Then, remember we're working in chronological order, so you just take and move your yarn marker up, and since the last round was one single crochet in one stitch, and then two single crochet into the next stitch, this increased round will be one single crochet into two stitches, and then two single crochet into the next stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around and then for the next round is you're going to repeat one single crochet into three stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch and then you can see how it keeps getting larger and larger so now you know how to increase I'm not going to do it the whole thing with you you know that you're going in order. We did one and two, then two and two, then three and two, and now you're at one single crochet into four stitches, and then two single crochet into the next stitch. So you can go ahead and finish the one and five, one single crochet in five stitches, and then two, six, seven, eight, nine, and then you're going to stop when you get to one single crochet into ten stitches, and two single crochet into the next stitch. So now, this is how your work should look, and you should have a total of 72 stitches in the round after finishing your last increase round, which should have been one single crochet into 10 stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. Now, you're going to move your yarn marker up 
and you're only going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for a total of 16 rounds. So 16 rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. Actually, it's going to be double that. So 16 times 2, 32. Sorry, so you're going to make one single crochet into every stitch around for 32 rounds and then come back. So now after you've finished 32 rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, the body is ready to start closing and we're going to make three decrease rounds. Just take your yarn marker, move it up to where you left off, and for the first decrease round, which means we're going to be decreasing the number of stitches in the round, you're going to make one single crochet into 10 stitches. So go ahead, make one single crochet into the next 10 stitches, and then come back. So then, after you made your 10 stitches, one single crochet into 10 stitches, then you're going to single crochet two stitches together, which is your decrease stitch. So you're going to go into the next stitch over, bring up a loop, go into the next stitch over, and bring up a loop. You have three loops on the hook. Go ahead and yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through all three loops for a decrease stitch, or single crochet two stitches together. And then you're just going to repeat that pattern make one single crochet into 10 stitches and then single crochet two stitches together. Keep repeating that pattern until you're back to the yarn marker and then come back. So now you should have had 66 total stitches on that last round. Then just move the yarn marker up and then you're going to make one single crochet into nine stitches and then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker so you should have had 60 total stitches for that last round and you can see how you're getting a gentle closing curve. And then just move your yarn marker up and then the last decrease round is going to be one single crochet into 8 stitches and then single crochet 2 stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you should have ended with 54 stitches in the round. So then you can go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch over. So just go right into the next stitch, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. Then you can go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to help sew the head onto the body. Now you can go ahead and stuff the body with craft stuffing and also stuff the head completely. So then after I have the body completely stuffed and the head stuffed and you can always stuff more after you finish try sewing most of the head in place then you can take and add more craft stuffing if you need to. But you just line up the head on top of the body and then take your tapestry needle if you don't have a long loose yarn end for sewing, then you can just use the same colored yarn. And so what I do is I go from, since my loose yarn end is on the head, I'm going to go into the head, into the stitch on the head, and then I'm going to go down directly into the top stitch on the body. Then just bring your tapestry needle through. Then since I came out on the body, I'm going to go into the next stitch over and then go right up into the stitch on the head. And that's how you're going to sew the head to the body. You just go in and out, going into the next stitch and then down into the stitch on the body and then you just sew the head to the body and then you sew all around the head to the body 
and again you go right into the next stitch since I came out on the body I'm going to go back into the next stitch on the body and then go up into the head and just keep repeating until you've completely sewed the head to the body and you can make more than one round with your yarn to completely secure the head to the body once you're finished sewing the neck to the body then I just tied a knot and then took my tapestry needle went right where I tied the knot and then you just enter I mean exit anywhere on the body and then that buries the loose yarn end and you can just trim it so now you can set your the head and the body after sewing it together set it aside we're going to make the arms so for the arms you're going to start with your beige colored yarn and we're going to make the magic circle so you just drape the yarn across your four fingers use your thumb to stabilize and then wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers twice and hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb then take your crochet hook go under those two loops bring up a loop then yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then you just take your forefinger and thumb, hold the base of the six single crochet. You have these two loops on the other side. Just pull on one. If it doesn't close, let go and pull on the other one, but this one is closing. Then you can take and pull on the loose yarn end and close that. Then you're just going to turn your work so that you're working in rounds. Now you're going to take your crochet hook and you're going to go right into that first stitch. And you're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. So two single crochet in every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round and then come back. So now you should have a total of 12 stitches in the round and you can take and close the center of the magic circle if you need to by turning it over and pulling on that loose yarn end on the back. Now we're going to make increase rounds. So now you should know how to make the increase rounds but I'm going to get you started and for those that know how we're going to be making one sing up to chronological order up to one single crochet into six stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. So go ahead for the first increase round just place your yarn marker right where you left off and you're going to make one single crochet into one stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch and you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker so one single crochet into the next stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back so now if you remember all you have to do is add six to the previous round the previous round we had 12 stitches if you add six to that, that means that you should have added up with 18 total stitches for this round. So you just add six to the previous round to get your stitch count. Now we're going to move the yarn marker up for our next increase round. And remember we're moving in chronological order all the way to one single crochet into six stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. So for this next increase round, you're going to make one single crochet into two stitches. and then two single crochet into the next stitch and you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker so that's one single crochet into two stitches 
and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker then the next increase round is one single crochet into three stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker then you're going to make one single crochet into four stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker so now we only have two more increase rounds left for this next increase round you're going to make one single crochet into five stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker then the last increase round is going to be one single crochet into six stitches and two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker so now you should have a total of 48 stitches in the round after completing all of the increase rounds then just take and move the yarn marker up and you're going to make one single crochet into every stitch around for four rounds. So four rounds of one single crochet into every stitch around. Now after you finished the four rounds of one single crochet in every stitch Go ahead and move your yarn marker up for a decrease round. So we're going to be decreasing the number of stitches in this round. So we're going to be making two decrease rounds and the first decrease round is going to be one single crochet into the next six stitches. So after you make the one single crochet into six stitches then you're going to make your single crochet two stitches together or your decrease stitch so you go into the next stitch over bring up a loop then go into the next stitch over and bring up a loop then just yarn over turn the hook upside down and go through all three for a decrease stitch and then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker one single crochet into six stitches and then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker so now you should have a total of 42 stitches in the round then you're just going to take and move the yarn marker up for your next decrease round this will be our last decrease round you're going to make one single crochet into the next five stitches and then you're going to single crochet two stitches together and then you're just going to repeat that pattern all the way around one single crochet into five stitches and then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker so now you should have a total of 36 stitches in the round then you can go ahead and move your yarn marker up and then you just make one single crochet in every stitch around for seven rounds so seven rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around so after you finish your seven rounds of one single crochet in every stitch then you're going to make a slip stitch into the next stitch over so just yarn over and then bring the yarn through both loops on the hook then you're going to join your brown colored yarn so just bring in your brown colored yarn and then bring up a loop then you're going to take and tie a knot and then you can take and cut the previous colored yarn so I'm going to cut my beige colored yarn and I always leave a little bit of a loose yarn end to tuck into the inside then you can go ahead and chain one again then you're just going to make one round of one single crochet in every stitch around with your brown colored yarn and then when you get back to where you started 
you want to still have a stitch count of 36. So now you can go ahead and add a little craft stuffing just to kind of form the paw. Then you want to take and move the yarn marker up. We're going to be making two increase rounds. So we're going to be increasing the number of stitches in the round. But we're going to start with one single crochet into five stitches. So one single crochet into five stitches. And then you're going to make two single crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. One single crochet into five stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. Repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you should have finished with 42 stitches in the round. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up for our last increase round and for our last increase round you're going to make one single crochet into six stitches. So one single crochet into six stitches and then you're going to make two single crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. One single crochet into six stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now after that round you should have a total of 48 stitches in the round. Then you're going to move your yarn marker up and you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for six rounds. So six rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. So after you make your one single crochet in every stitch for six rounds, go ahead and move your yarn marker up and we're going to be making three decrease rounds. So the first decrease round and we're not going to Actually, we're going to make one decrease round and then we're going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for a few rounds. So we're going to make one decrease round at this time and the first decrease round will be one single crochet into six stitches. So the next round is not a decrease round, so don't go in chronological order yet, but we are going to be ending up making three decrease rounds. So this first decrease round is one single crochet into six stitches. So I have one single crochet into six stitches and then I'm going to make my single crochet two stitches together. So you just go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, go into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through all three for a decrease stitch and then you're going to repeat that one single crochet into six stitches and then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you should have decreased to 42 stitches in the round. Then you're just going to take and move the yarn marker up and for the next four rounds you're only going to make one single crochet in every stitch around. So one single crochet in every stitch around for four rounds. So then after you finish the one single crochet in every stitch for four rounds, you can take and move the yarn marker up for your next decrease round. And for this decrease round, you're going to make one single crochet into five stitches. and then you're going to single crochet two stitches together. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into five stitches and then single crochet two stitches together repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. 
So now you should have a total of 36 stitches in the round. You're going to go ahead and move your yarn marker up and then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for four rounds. So four rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. So this is what my work looks like so far. And I went ahead and added some craft stuffing in there. And you can continue to add craft stuffing as we continue to make our decrease rounds. And then I'll, after this last decrease round and one single crochet for four rounds, then we're going to decrease to close. So you can continue to add craft stuffing as we continue to crochet the rounds. So now, for our next decrease round, go ahead and move your yarn marker up. And you're going to make one single crochet into four stitches. And then you're going to single crochet two stitches together. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker. One single crochet into four stitches, and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you should have a total of 30 stitches in the round. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up and then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for four rounds. So four rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. So now, after you finish your four rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, go ahead and make sure that your arm is completely stuffed. And you can continue to stuff the arm as you crochet. But now, we're going to just make decrease rounds until we close. So the first decrease round is going to be one single crochet into three stitches. And then you're going to single crochet two stitches together. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. One single crochet into three stitches and then single crochet two stitches together. Repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Then for the next decrease round is one single crochet into two stitches and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Then you're going to make one single crochet into one stitch and then single crochet two stitches together, repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Mm -hmm. Then you just take and single crochet two stitches together until you're almost closed. So just take and single crochet two stitches together until you're almost closed and then we're going to slip stitch closed. Then to slip stitch close you just skip a stitch, go into the next stitch and then just yarn over, turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through both loops for a slip stitch. And you're going to continue to slip stitch all the way around until the arm is completely closed. So one more should do it for me. I'm just going to go right into that stitch, yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and bring the yarn through both loops for a slip stitch. And then mine is completely closed. Then you can just yarn over and go through the loop for, to finish off. And just bring enough yarn through to bury into your work. So now we can bury the loose yarn end. Just take the yarn, put it onto your tapestry needle, Go right in where you finished off and then come out anywhere. And then just pull the, the loose yarn end through. And then you can trim the loose yarn end. And then it's nice and buried. So now this is what mine looks like and I'm ready to make the thumb. So I'm going to show you how to make the thumb. Now to make the thumb, you're going to use your beige colored yarn and you're going to drape the yarn across your four fingers for the magic circle and then just stabilize the yarn with your thumb and then wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers twice. 
Hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. And then take your crochet hook, go under those two loops around the middle fingers, and then bring up a loop. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to make six single crochet into the magic circle. So here's four. and six. Then just take your forefinger and thumb and hold the base of the six single crochet. You have the two loops on the opposite side. Go ahead and pull on one of them. If it doesn't close, of course you pull on the other one. Then just let go and pull on that loose yarn end. Then you're going to turn your work and then we're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around. So two single crochet in every stitch around and then that should give you a total of 12 stitches in the round. Now you should have 12 stitches in the round and we're only going to make one increase round. So you're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch and then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker so one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into this next stitch repeating that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker so now you should have a total of 18 stitches in the round go ahead and move the yarn marker up and then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for four rounds. So four rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. Then after you finish the four rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, go ahead and remove your yarn marker and then just take your crochet hook, go into the next stitch over for the slip stitch, just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and bring the yarn through both loops for a slip stitch. And then you're going to finish off, just yarn over, and pull enough yarn through to sew the thumb onto the hand or the paw. And then you can tuck the loose yarn end into the center. So now you just want to set the thumb aside for now and you're going to take the arm and you want the color change to be towards the back. So make sure that's towards the back. Then you're going to take your tapestry needle with the black colored yarn on it and we're going to make the fingers that go on the paw. So the first thing that you want to do is you're going to go from the magic circle and you want to find the center. So you go right through the magic circle and you're going to come up in the center of the paw. So the first thing you want to do is go right down the center of the magic circle and then count 10 rounds up right straight down the center of the paw. And then you're just going to bring the yarn through making sure that you leave a little bit of a loose yarn end for tying a knot. Then you're going to go right back straight down into the center of the magic circle and then you're going to go over seven stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you want to come out on the same round as where you had first gone in. So you're just going to take your tapestry needle and then come out seven stitches over on the same round and then just pull the yarn through and then you want to just give it a gentle tug to kind of create a little dent in the paw where the center black yarn goes. Then we're going to make the other side here. So you want to go over at an angle so at about a 45 degree angle you're going to go up two rounds and then you're going to go straight across so 
So you want to come out on the opposite side. Let me see if I have the same angle. So two rounds out at the same angle as this side and then bring the yarn through and then again you want to pull it slightly to create a little bit of a dent and then you have a dent there and a dent there and then you're just going to go straight up seven stitches over from the center and then create the third side. And then you're going to come out right in the center. So finish right into the center. Ooh, caught my scissors. Lassoed my scissors. And again, you give it a gentle tug to create a little dent. So then you have your three black stripes that form the paw. And then you can take and tie a knot. And then you're going to bury your loose yarn in. So you just go right where you tied your knot. And then you're going to come out anywhere on the back side and then just pull the loose yarn end through. And then you're going to bury your other loose yarn in the same way. Just give it a gentle tug and then just trim the loose yarn end and it just buries it nicely inside of the paw. So now you're just going to place your thumb right on top of the hand so here you can see I have the color change on back. So this is the back of the paw. And then with the claws, this will be the left hand. And then for the right hand, you'll want the claws and the thumb to be this way. So make sure you know which arm it is that you're sewing the thumb in place on so you can make sure that you have the thumb on top. So you want the thumb on top of the hand, whether it be the left or the right hand. And then once you know which arm that you're making, then you can take and place the thumb right up against, let's see, I'm just trying to decide where I want to position my thumb. So I'm going to position my thumb one round up from the brown color and then just take your tapestry needle and then you're just going to sew in and out just make sure that you're trying to figure out how far I want to be from my paws so here's the center so I'm about at an angle and I'm one, two, three rounds up. And it looks like I'm right in line with the third claw mark on the paw. So then once you have it positioned, you just take your tapestry needle and you just go in and out all around the base of the thumb, sewing it in place. So you just go in and out all around the base and just sew the thumb to the paw. So now for mine, I have the left arm complete. So you can see how the paws and the thumbs facing up. So on the right arm, it's made the same way except for the thumb will be on this side. So it'll be on top. So remember the thumb is always on top for whatever arm that you're making. So now go ahead and make the other arm for your gorilla. So now you should have the two arms finished and you can see how I have the thumbs on top for the left and the right arm. So now you can set those aside 
And now I'm going to show you how to make the foot. So I've already made one of them. And now I'm going to show you how to make one. So we're going to start with our beige colored yarn and we're going to make the magic circle. So you just wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers, hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Take your crochet hook, go under those two loops around the middle finger and then go ahead and bring up a loop. And then yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the loop for a slip knot. Now you're going to place six single crochet into the magic circle. And then you're just going to close the magic circle just like we've done before. Sorry, someone's doing yard work. Then just turn your work and then we're just going to make two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. So you just go into the first stitch and then just make two single crochet into the same stitch. And then you're going to make two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches in the round. So now we're going to be making six increased rounds in chronological order. So go ahead and place your yarn marker right where you left off for your first increased round. For the first increased round you're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. And then you're just going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. One single crochet into the first stitch, two single crochet into the second stitch. Repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. For the next increase round just move the yarn marker up to where you left off and you're just going to make one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around. And just as a reminder, to get the stitch count, remember you just add six to the previous round. So the previous round was 12 stitches, add six to that, and that means that this increased round should have given you 18 stitches, and after you finish this next increased round, you should have 24 total stitches. Then for the next increased round, it's one single crochet into three stitches, and then two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker. So now you should know what to do. The next increased round is going to be one single crochet into four stitches, and then two single crochet into the next stitch, repeating that pattern all the way around, back to the yarn marker. And then you know that the next round will be one single crochet into five stitches, and then two single crochet. And then the last increased round will be one single crochet into six stitches, and two single crochet into the next stitch. So go ahead, finish making your increase rounds until you get to one single crochet into six stitches and two single crochet into the next stitch and then come back. So now you should have a total of 48 stitches in the round. Go ahead and move the yarn marker up. So now we're finished with our increase rounds. Our last increase round was one single crochet into six stitches with two single crochet into the next stitch. So now you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for a total of four rounds. So four rounds of only one single crochet in every stitch around. So after you finish your four rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, go ahead and remove your yarn marker and then we're going to make a slip stitch into the next stitch over. So just take your crochet hook, go into the next stitch, yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and then just bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. Then you're going to go ahead and finish off, just yarn over, and then just pull the yarn through. Actually, don't finish off, just leave the loop on your hook after you make your slip stitch. Then you can just bring in your brown colored yarn and just bring up a loop. Then just take and tie a knot and then you can cut the previous colored yarn.
Then we're ready to crochet with our brown colored yarn. So you go ahead and just chain one. And then you're just going to make one round of one single crochet in every stitch around.